Hello everyone, Snowby here with some digging into the water problem. Now, for many of us, water is harder to obtain, but it is not really a problem as such. We enjoy the added difficulty as it simulates the survival aspect of the game. However, there are a few problems that don't necessarily always get balanced out, and we are looking at some techniques and of course modlets if you wish to go in that direction to completely eliminate the problem or make it less of a problem. Some have argued that there's a difference between hard versus tedious. So they claim that the removal of water jars and the current solution is really making the game tedious. So the fun pimps want to make the game more difficult and harder to obtain water. They made the changes and now the game is a lot more tiresome and some players say that they should not have messed with the jars in the first place. Over the past few weeks since Alpha 21 came out, I've given the new Alpha a lot of time playing solo and in no party, and I've certainly seen a few problems that come up when you have certain playstyles. At the start of the game, unless you are pretty lucky, you are going to find water more difficult to sort out, especially if you are in a party. Exploring increases your water consumption and you will generally be struggling with keeping yourself hydrated. However, to almost completely eliminate the problem of hydration, playing solo or in a party, once you have at least one water purifier for your helmet, it made life considerably more bearable. As mentioned in my tips and tricks guide, a water purifier makes it almost impossible to become dehydrated. With it, you can drink from any water source. In our base, we just added a hole in the ground and with the water from a bucket, filled the hole. For those of us without a purifier mod, we put a container next to the water hole and put a purifier mod into it. Now, no one was drinking the precious water jars from the six dew collectors that were on the roof of our base. This water now was only used for cooking and crafting, and hydration was easily obtained by drinking from our small little water hole with the water purifier. What was noticeable though, once we got further into the game, water was still never overflowing in our storage. We still had a problem due to explosives. Now, if this is not part of your playstyle, having a few dew collectors should be fine. Those of you using duct tape a lot, on the other hand, either have to wander around from trader to trader every now and then looking for duct tape and glue, or you must create larger dew collector farms. I saw one person claiming on Reddit that his dew collector farm of 30 still was not enough for their multiplayer group. Each explosive arrow, weapons, armor, and rockets has a jar or more of water in them. Well, unless you have obtained your glue or your duct tape from somewhere else. I don't know if the fun pimps are going to balance this, however, I do know many overhaul mods are already working and will have the problem sorted out with either jars or plastic bottles coming back into the game. They may not work specifically as they did before, but it is being fixed. Of course, you can't play Darkness Falls, Undead Legacy, or your favorite overhaul mod yet. So what can you do if you want to give yourself some extra help with water? We of course turned to mods and within a few days of Alpha 21, many modders were already churning out fixes and ways to help players. Now, first, this mod is not going to help you with water in the long run, except make it easier at the start of the game. If you just want to give yourself an edge when starting out, then there is a mod that will help you out with this. This mod gives you a dew collector at the end of the first starter quest. So once you complete your opening tutorial and visit the trader, you will receive a dew collector for free and you can pop this little baby into the base on the first day. This will remove the initial struggle of finding water at the start. This probably could be called a cheat as it really does remove any struggle that you may be having at the start, especially if you are playing solo. So it is really a great option if you are playing casually. By the way, I've added all the links in my description for these mods so you can find them there. Next is what many would prefer to be back, and that is the empty jars. Bill Ryder has created an empty jar mod, which allows you to craft empty jars from within a forge with sand and clay, similar to how it was done previously. The jars have an updated model, and when you drink from existing jars, they will automatically become empty jars, just like before. Of course, that would be pretty useless if you could not fill them. So that is what you can do from any water source. You can go up to the water source and fill it with murky water. 
This can be done with a single bottle or you can stack them and obtain your murky water in the old fashioned way, but in Alpha 21. If you want more of a challenge, you can download the empty jar modlet without the recipe. So you will still be able to collect empty jars that you can use. You can fill them with water, but you cannot craft the jars, which of course makes it no challenge. Going back to another previous method of obtaining water. This is the ability to craft snowballs into water. Simply put, just find some source of snowballs. Any extensive use would require you to be in the snow biome. If you want this for your later game when explosives are calling out for a lot of duct tape, then this mod does help a lot as it gives you that much needed water for your glue. So you can go out for a single dig on one particular day, farm thousands of snowballs, and that will be it for the rest of the game. Some may not like this as there are no jars in the recipe, so a snowball automatically becomes a jar plus the water, similar to how a dew collector miraculously produces a jar out of thin air. Now, if you don't really want to add anything additional to the game, but want to use the same style of water system that the Fun Pimps have adopted in Alpha 21, then the Bucket of Boiled Water mod is for you. So with the existing mechanic of being able to fill a bucket of water, then the mod simply adds the ability to boil that bucket of water. After you have boiled the murky water in the bucket, you then end up with a package that can be opened and a modest three jars of boiled water is obtained. The boiled water buckets can be stacked so you can have a campfire going for your buckets of water and churn them out. Stack them and then open them when you wish to. Once you have opened the buckets, you can also reuse these. You can have them refilled and then boil those at a later point as well. Finally, the Dew Collector also has not been spared in some attempts to make it more consumer friendly. Now, a few Dew Collector variations have popped out, though I'm avoiding the ones that have just sped up the Dew Collector harvest time. I've found that being away from our base, I've not collected water for quite a while. I also tend to forget to collect water, so this kind of makes things quite inefficient when it comes to collecting the water on time. Also with the decreased time, you still end up having a massive collector farm. Instead, I have opted for a merge dew collector mod. With this mod, you still have to create your dew collectors. However, you can merge them into a group of three or a group of nine. So I have three individual collectors here. And once I merge them into a group of three, then they will continue to make water as before. However, each produced water will be three jars of clean water that you get. If you make a nine times collector bundle, then you will get nine multiplied by three, which is 27 water from the dew collector. This allows you to continue with the same setup of many collectors. They will all cost the same amount, the same as in the vanilla game. So you are not cheating in this way, but the amount of space that your dew collector farm will consume and take up by your base will be considerably less. I've tested all these mods and they are all currently working together, so you can have them all functioning at the same time. Which one would I choose of the mods? Well, first I would not bother from a single player point of view, as I believe I have enough water by mid game. If explosives are a big part of your game and water is a problem, then the most simple way to fix this is to just, well, bring back the water jars. You can even remove the recipe so that it takes time to generate jars from drinking and looting and it makes the whole jar problem a little bit more of a challenge. If I wanted to make it just a bit easier to obtain water and not have jars appearing in my inventory anytime, and well, you must admit, it is nice not to have the jars always appearing in your inventory each time you have to drink something, then I would opt for the boiling a bucket of water mod. So that would be my choice where I would be using existing tech and mechanics from within the game. The Fun Pimps have said that they have provided the mod community with enough to bring back and adapt the system if they really wanted to. And many people do have complaints, but the modders are certainly taking care of those issues. I will be making an install guide soon, especially in preparation for the massive tornado of overhaul mods that are going to be going out and releasing in the near future in all their glory. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.